What's good, YouTube? We are back again with another video, and it's another comparison for you guys. This is the Amex 97 Gold, Gold Bullet. I don't know what you guys want to call it, but this is the gold version, right? This is an original colorway. My second favorite out of the Amex 97s. Of course, the Silver Bullet being my first. So I did a comparison on the Silver Bullets, the one from 2017 and the most recent model, 2023. And there was a lot less differences, the laces being one of the differences. Other than that, for the most part, it's pretty much the same exact sneaker. What I noticed right away is that there's a lot more differences between these two models here. This is the retro version. It's tied up because I've worn them. It doesn't look like I've worn them, but I've worn them a few times already. And then this is the newest version. It's not tied up. So that's the easiest way you can tell. But like I was saying earlier, there's definitely a lot more differences between these two than the silver pair right and right away you may see the differences between the laces so the retro that we have tied up is a lot more of a gold lace and the newest pair is actually more of a subtle shade of gold right more of a lighter shade of gold and you could definitely see the differences between the two i just want to make sure my camera catches it right off the bat you see the differences there right another difference and you guys should be able to tell but the paneling here, so this is like a synthetic leather. And you could see on the retro version, it's a much lighter gold, right? I'm hoping this catches on camera. It may, it may not. But you can see this version here is a much lighter gold leather, right? And then on the side panels, you can see this little mesh material that you see here it's a different color completely they're both versions of gold but the bottom one is a lot darker of a gold than this one here right so the retro is a much lighter mesh material and the newest retro is much more of a darker gold right so that's a major difference as well and as you can see man the leather around the mudguard is also different Right now, obviously, the air bubbles will be different because this one is about six years old. This one is clear and perfect. As far as the tongues are concerned, virtually the same. As far as the 3M's concerned, this upper area is all 3M. So it has 3M piping. So you have 3M piping on the upper. Then you have 3M material on the tongue. And that will be for both pairs. On the insole, you do have a gold swoosh. Right on the bottoms, you have the same pattern. You do have hints of red and then hints of gold throughout the outsole. And then on the medial side, you could really see the differences between the golds. So a much lighter gold, a much darker gold on the mesh on the medial side as well. We take a look at the backs. You have Air Max on the back, nicely done. On the pull tab now i did notice and this is no big deal but you do have some widow's peaks so on the oldest retros the widow's peaks are a little bit smaller and then on the newest retro the widow's peaks are a little bit bigger no big deal but that is a difference definitely a noticeable difference in the laces in the leather around the mud guard on the mesh on the side those are the biggest differences between these in particular. So yeah, there you have it. A quick comparison of the retro 2023 pair and the 2018. I believe they came out in 2018. Let me just double check. Yes. So the production date ends it at 2018 and that's when these came out. These were a quick strike when they originally came out. Now you can get these on sale, which I got them on sale. I think I got these for about 130 bucks. You can probably get them on even a bigger discount if you wait and be a little bit more patient. And then these were like very hard to get. So it's very interesting to see how limited the 2018 pair was compared to the newest retro. But I'm all for it because it gives everybody an opportunity to pick up a classic Air Max sneaker. Right. On that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We out. Peace.